Let's talk about the advanced options area inside of our options section. So I'm going to go over here to advanced. I already have my Excel options opened. I'm going to go to advanced. And there are several things that are in here. Now, unlike the customizations of the ribbon or the toolbar, there is no restore defaults button. So you want to be careful in here when you start changing things, right? You don't want to disable something or enable something and then not remember what you did. So you want to be very careful. There's a lot of stuff in here. But let's take a look at what's going on. So we have some editing options, right? After pressing enter, move the selection down, right, up, left. The default is down, right? We can change that here. I'll automatically insert a decimal point. Allow editing directly in cells. We could disable or enable that, right? Um, Enable autocomplete, automatically flash fill, um, alert a user when a potential time consuming operation occurs. Okay, so if you're doing something, a common thing that happens there is uh, sometimes when people are creating tables, they accidentally select the entire worksheet by clicking the little triangle in the upper left. And when you go to create a table based on all those 16,000 columns and over a million rows, it's going to take a little while, so usually it'll warn you about that. Oh, you can disable that here as well. Um, let's take a look at some other stuff. We see some cut, copy, and paste options. Show paste options button when content is pasted. Show insert options button, right? So those are those smart tags that pop up when we copy and paste, right? Image size and quality, print options. Chart options, so show chart element names on hover. Show data point values, right? These are all things that we can deal with here. Um, the number of recent workbooks that you want to display. Uh, we can turn the formula bar or screen tips on and off. Now, there are other areas where we can affect those things, but we can do that here as well. Uh, display options. I can turn, uh, turn uh, scroll bars off. I can turn the sheets tab off. So again, see why we want to be careful? We can really completely change our Excel environment here. And if you don't remember where you went to do that, um, you're going to be in trouble. So you want to make sure that you're very judicious with what you do here and you know, kind of remember if you do change something, you want to kind of remember where you changed it at. Okay. Uh, let's look at some other stuff that we have here. Show row and column headers, right? Show sheets right to left. Show page breaks. Show a zero in cells that have zero value, right? We can do all of that. Uh, other formula options, calculation options, general options. And one of the things here in general options that's important is edit custom lists. So we know we can fill in things like the days of the week, the months of the year. Uh, you can also create your own custom lists by going here. You can import values from cells and turn them into a custom list. Or you can just type in your own custom items that you want right in here also. Okay. So all very powerful tools here that we can manipulate in the advance, and I can't stress it enough, there is no undo button, there is no restore default button. So if you go in here and you start changing things, just make sure you remember what you changed in case you want to change it back.